a glistening golden seahorse with a round belly glides through the dark blue ocean filled with bright, microscopic sea life. Rolling captions on the bottom right read, This dad-to-be has a surprising secret. His pot belly isn't from eating too much. He's actually pregnant. In seahorses, it's actually the males that get pregnant. A man with dyed pink hair and a brown leather jacket speaks to the camera. On-screen text reads, Joe Rees, museum scientist. Two seahorses nestle closely together at the bottom of a stony seabed. So the females provide the eggs to the males, which they store inside their brood pouch. Three seahorses float amongst pitch black seawater. The middle of the three is pregnant with a white round belly. It's inside here that the males fertilize their eggs and store them while they develop. A seahorse floats in clear blue water above the sandy seabed. This way the seahorse can ensure he's the father and it also keeps the eggs safe. The males hold the babies for up to 25 days before he releases them into the water. A tiny seahorse fry floats as shiny microscopic sea life fills the pitch black water around it. And they can give birth to around a thousand offspring, but due to predation and the young not being able to swim very well, only a few per thousand actually reach adulthood. A man with a beard speaks to the camera. Wow, who knew that about seahorses? If you'd like to learn more about seahorses and some other remarkable fish, then check out this video here and leave a comment down below to let us know what you think. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe for some more content from the Natural History Museum. On the left-hand side, a narrow, semi-opaque black rectangle displays the credits. Film, Calma Hawks, Lee Quinn. Science, Joe Rees. Research, Matt Winterbottom. Archive, Shutterstock. Music, Audio Network. On the right-hand side, the words Natural History Museum are displayed in a column flanked by a large letter N on the left. Text at the bottom reads, Copyright owned by the trustees of the Natural History Museum, London.